Hi there, my name is Gordon Hamilton. Welcome to the latest PhotoTube video. This one is on a very interesting and specialized black and white film, ADOX CMS 20. Now the manufacturer of this makes the following bold claim. No other film is sharper or more fine grained. No other film resolves more lines per millimeter than ADOX CMS 20. The manufacturer actually claims this resolves up to 800 lines per millimeter, which is quite incredible if true. Um, ADOX also claim that uh, grain free enlargements are possible measured diagonally, print sizes up to two and a half meters, measured corner to corner, that's over eight feet which is amazing if true. This is a very slow film, as you might guess. Um, it has an ISO of 20. Usefully, it's an orthopanchromatic film, which basically means um, it doesn't give any preference to any particular colors. So it resolves colors in the same way that the human eye would. Although this is a black and white film, um, it treats all colors um, equally so it doesn't make greens lighter than other colors for example um, it also means that if you're using this film for portraits you don't need to use any green filter on your lens um, it should be noted that uh, this black and white film um, ideally requires specialized processing um, so rather than use your normal black and white chemicals for processing the film um, it should really be developed in uh, Edotech uh, developer. If you use normal chemicals, what you'll ha end up with is an extremely high contrast negative um, with blown out highlights and, uh, and losing detail in shadows. Um, it's so high contrast um, with so, so little um, dynamic range that it would be virtually unprintable. However, when processed correctly, this film can lead outstanding results. Now, there's not too many photo labs that will be able to process this film properly. So if you plan to use this film, you need to check who can process it for you. Or if you, if you process your own films, you need to look at uh, obtaining the necessary chemicals and the procedure for doing it. Um, personally, I don't develop my own films. Um, I tend to mostly use a lab based in the Midlands of England, in the Birmingham area, called AG Photo Lab. Um, they give uh, very excellent quality results. Um, their scans in particular are very impressive, and the prices are quite reasonable. And they can, AG Photo Labs, can process this film. Um, in terms of price, this film is quite reasonable. It will cost you less than £6 for a 36 exposure roll, which uh, similar to FP4 by Ilford. Incidentally, my go-to films for black and white have always been Ilford FP4, uh, Ilford Pan F, um, and occasionally I've, I, I use HP5 when I want a faster film. So one thing that interested me before I tried this film is how would it, re how would it compare with, with Ilford Pan F? Pan F is a 50 ISO film, it's very fine grained, it's very well regarded and I've been very happy with the results I've been getting from it. So I was wondering would this film uh, beat that in terms of resolution and grain and also in view of the increased processing costs for this film would it be worth it compared to Ilford Pan F? Um, I mentioned I use AG Photo, photo Lab. Uh, the rolls I've shot on this ADOX film, I had scanned to the highest resolution scans that they do. Uh, when the um, JPEGs are opened in Photoshop, um, it gives um, a file, an expanded file size of over 80 megabytes. Um, now this is uh, 6774 by 4492 pixels so that equates to 30.4 megapixels 
Okay. That doesn't necessarily mean that the film scanned to this resolution will be as sharp or will be as good as a 30 megapixel digital camera. Right, so then, um, having used this film, you'll be interested to know what I think of it. Well, firstly, uh, images are extremely impressive. The beautifully rendered, um, lovely tones, um, nice contrast. Um, now then, sharpness and grain, that's what you're all wondering about, isn't it? Well, um, loading up my scanned images into Photoshop, um, zooming into 100%. Remember, these are very large scans. Um, zooming into 100%, this is 30 mega, um, megapixel equivalent in terms of the scanning. Um, amazingly, I can virtually see no grain at all. Looking very closely, you can see some very, very fine grain at 100%, but it's almost not there. Sharpness is fantastic as well. Um, so looking at the manufacturer's claim that you can produce mega-sized enlargements with this film, I would say they're probably correct. Um, I've not had any of my images printed yet. I've just viewed them on screen but they, they look fabulous. Um, so I, I would say this film is fantastic, um, providing you don't need a fast film. And if you want the finest grain, the highest resolution um, from your black and white images, I would say this film's highly recommended. Um, it's even better than Ilford Pan F, which is a superb film. Um, it will cost you more to get processed at the lab than the normal black and white films. Um, cost me about an extra £10. Um, bearing in mind though, this film isn't expensive to buy. Um, it's only about £6 or less, as I said. Um, if you think that some um, slide films, colour slide films, can cost uh, £15 or £16 each, um, the overall costs, including developing, don't look too bad. Uh, when you consider the, the, the fine results. Okay, that's my thoughts on, on this very interesting film. I can only suggest you try it for yourselves. Um, I'll finish this video by showing you some images that I've taken uh, on this film. Um, obviously, in the context of this video, you won't be able to see the full res resolution, but at least uh, the images that follow um, will give you an idea of how, how nicely... Um, the film renders and what it's what it, the tones are like. Um, well, thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.